How are gummy bears made? So I'm Rich Hartel. I'm a professor here in the Department of Food Science, uh, also instructor of candy course in the summertime. Gummy bears start with gelatin. That's, that's the basis for it. This has sugar, corn syrup, and water. We're boiling it off to uh, 240 degrees, down to around 12%, 10% water, something like that. And then we're going to add gelatin to that. And that's going to be the, that's what makes a gummy bear a gummy bear. So this is uh, gelatin. It comes from uh, pigs or cows. Uh, hoofs and, and uh, skin and things like that. Basically, it's just collagen that's broken down into smaller molecules. All that remains for us is to add color and flavor and a little bit of acid. This is acid. It's a mixture of malic and citric acid just for the uh, flavor. So we're going to add uh, green apple flavor. So we chose the appropriate acids to, uh, to match that flavor. To make the gummy bear shape, we start with cornstarch. So what we're going to do is make the gummy bear shape with this press board into the starch, and then we're going to fill those holes with the candy. These will dry overnight, and actually the starch will pull some of the moisture out of the candy to get to the final moisture content. Plus the gelatin, once it cools, will turn into a gel, and the end result is a gummy bear. So if you put a gummy bear in a, in a microwave and warm it for 10 seconds, it shows one of the interesting properties of gelatin, which is it's thermoreversible. If you warm it back up above its melting point, it goes back to being a liquid. The gummy bear flows, and then when it cools back down again, it's, it resets, but not as a bear, just as a puddle. So it, based on the chemical nature of the, the gelatin molecule. So the end of those protein strands when they, when they gel, they form this triple, triple helix thing, uh, as opposed to another tighter type of uh, bond like you might find in starch and pectin. And so then when you heat it up, those just uncoil and go back into solution. And so you go back to be in a liquid phase, and then when you cool it down again, it forms that triple junction zone again and becomes the squishy gummy bear that, uh, that we just made. 